Ever wondered about the silent partner in the electricity dance? Yes, it's none other than reactive power. As we embark on this electrifying journey, we'll unravel the mystery of this often misunderstood player in power systems. So buckle up and get ready to illuminate your understanding of reactive power. Imagine an elegant dance. The spotlight shines on the active power, the star performer doing all the work energizing our appliances and machines. But behind the scenes, there's another dancer, reactive power. It's the yin to the active power's yang, ensuring everything flows smoothly and efficiently. It's this harmonious interplay that keeps the electricity dance flowing seamlessly. But why is reactive power so crucial? Well, picture a perfectly choreographed ballet. If a dancer is out of sync, it disrupts the entire performance. Similarly, in our power systems, reactive power keeps everything in sync. It optimizes voltage levels, ensuring they're neither too high nor too low. This balancing act reduces line losses, enhancing the efficiency of power transmission. Moreover, reactive power plays an essential role in maintaining a stable power supply. It's like the unseen conductor of an orchestra, keeping all the instruments in harmony. Without it, our appliances and machines would receive an unstable power supply, affecting their performance and lifespan. So, in a nutshell, reactive power is an unsung hero in our power systems. While active power gets all the applause, reactive power works silently in the background, ensuring the smooth and efficient flow of electricity. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? In the upcoming scenes, we'll delve deeper into the types of reactive power, the significance of power factor, various compensation techniques and real-life examples. So stay tuned, as this is just the beginning of our electrifying exploration into the world of reactive power. So reactive power keeps our power systems healthy, optimizing voltage levels, reducing line losses, and ensuring a stable power supply. As we continue this journey, remember, every element in the power system plays a role, and understanding each one is key to mastering the electric dance. Now, let's get to know the two types of the unsung hero, capacitive and inductive reactive power. Capacitive reactive power is generated when the current leads the voltage. This generally happens in components like capacitors. It's like a reservoir storing power, ready to smooth out any fluctuations in the supply. On the other hand, we have inductive reactive power generated when the current lags behind the voltage. This is typical in inductive components like motors and transformers. It's the power consumed in creating magnetic fields, essential for these components to function. It's this dynamic interplay between capacitive and inductive reactive power that keeps our power system stable. Picture it as a tug of war. Too much of one type can cause voltage instability, so it's crucial to maintain a balance. It's a delicate dance, and when perfectly synchronized, it ensures our power systems operate efficiently and reliably. Understanding the balance between capacitive and inductive reactive power is key to a stable power system. Ever heard of the term power factor? Let's demystify it. Imagine you're in a boat rowing down a river. The distance you cover directly downstream is like active power, the work done. The effort you put into rowing against the current, that's reactive power. Now, the power factor is akin to your rowing efficiency. It's calculated as the ratio of active power to apparent power, which is the vector sum of active and reactive power. Why is this important in power systems? Well, the power factor tells us how effectively electrical power is being converted into useful work. A high power factor close to one indicates that most of the power is being used efficiently. Conversely, a low power factor suggests that a significant portion of the power is reactive, causing inefficiencies. The relationship between power factor and reactive power is symbiotic. If we efficiently manage reactive power, we can maintain a high power factor, optimizing our power system. Remember. A high power factor indicates efficient power usage, while a low one means there's room for improvement. How do we manage reactive power? Let's explore the various compensation techniques employed by engineers. Now, managing reactive power isn't as daunting as it might sound. 
engineers have developed a number of ingenious ways to optimize power factor and control reactive power. Among these, the most commonly used techniques are capacitor banks and synchronous condensers. Let's start with capacitor banks. These are clusters of capacitors connected together in a power system. Capacitors are devices that can store and release electrical energy rapidly, and in power systems, they are used to provide reactive power. When the power factor dips, capacitor banks inject reactive power into the system to balance the equation. This helps maintain voltage stability and enhances the overall system efficiency. Moving on, we have synchronous condensers. These are essentially motor generators. When they spin, they can either absorb or generate reactive power as needed. This is a bit like a cruise control for your power system. By adjusting the speed of the synchronous condenser, engineers can finally control the amount of reactive power in the system, helping to stabilize the power factor. There's a beautiful interplay between these two techniques. While capacitor banks provide a rapid short-term solution to fluctuations in reactive power, synchronous condensers offer a more precise long-term control mechanism. This dynamic duo works tirelessly to ensure our power systems are running smoothly and efficiently. Of course, these are just two of the many techniques out there. Others include static VR compensators, series capacitors, and even advanced software algorithms. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses, and the choice of technique depends on the specific requirements of the power system. To sum it up, reactive power management is a bit like conducting an orchestra. Each instrument, or in our case, each compensation technique, plays its own part. But when they all work together in harmony, they create a symphony of efficient and stable power flow. From capacitor banks to synchronous condensers, these techniques ensure your power system operates at its peak. Time to bring theory into practice. Let's walk through some real-life examples. Think about a bustling city with its skyscrapers and myriad of electrical appliances. All these appliances require a stable power supply to function efficiently. Reactive power is the silent hero that ensures this stability. For instance, when you switch on your air conditioner, it doesn't just consume active power, which does the actual cooling, but also reactive power. This reactive power is crucial for its motor to start and run smoothly. Let's consider another example, a large industrial plant. These factories house numerous heavy machines, each of which demands a high amount of power. But what if there's an imbalance in the power supply? This could lead to inefficient machine operation or even damage. Here, reactive power steps in. It helps maintain a balance in the power system, ensuring the smooth operation of machines, thus reducing the risk of downtime. But what happens when there's too much or too little reactive power? Well, it can result in voltage fluctuations. Imagine you're at home watching your favorite show on TV. Suddenly, the screen goes blank. You wonder if you've lost power, but then you see that the lights are still on. What happened? It's likely a case of voltage fluctuation, possibly due to an imbalance in reactive power. These examples underscore the importance of managing reactive power effectively. We need just the right amount, not too much, not too little, for our power systems to function optimally. And that's where power factor and compensation techniques come into play, helping us strike that perfect balance. In essence, reactive power is like the oil in an engine. You may not see it, but it's vital for the engine's smooth operation. Similarly, reactive power keeps our power systems running smoothly, ensuring a stable and efficient power supply. These practical examples should help you understand the importance of reactive power in our daily lives. As we approach the end of this electrifying journey into reactive power, here's a quick recap. We started off by shedding light on the concept of reactive power, the silent yet essential partner in the electricity dance. It's the yin to the active power's yang, ensuring smooth and efficient energy flow in our power systems. We then delved into the two types of reactive power, capacitive and inductive. These two types counterbalance each other, maintaining the equilibrium and stability in our power systems. 
The interplay between them is a fascinating dance of energy that keeps our power systems humming along. Moving on, we explored the concept of power factor, a measure of how effectively electrical power is converted into useful work. A high power factor signifies efficient power usage, while a low one indicates inefficiencies due to excessive reactive power. This power factor plays a pivotal role in the operation of our electrical appliances and machines. Next, we looked at various compensation techniques that engineers use to optimize the power factor and manage reactive power. From capacitor banks to synchronous condensers, these methods ensure that our power systems operate at their peak efficiency. Finally, we brought theory into practice with real-life examples demonstrating how reactive power impacts different elements of a power system. These practical insights aim to solidify your understanding of this complex yet crucial concept in power systems. And with that, we've reached the end of our journey. We've uncovered the mystery of reactive power, explored its types, understood the significance of power factor, delved into compensation techniques, and seen it all in action with real-life examples. Remember, reactive power is an unsung hero optimizing power systems for efficiency. It's a fascinating field with much more to explore. So keep learning, keep asking questions, keep sparking conversations. Your curiosity is the force that drives innovation in the world of electrology. Until our next electrifying adventure, stay charged.